I'm Andy Walker, head of product at Just Play Sports Solutions, and I'm here today in the T1V Experience Center. And I'm using the ThinkHub visual collaboration software in conjunction with, with Just Play's uh, you know, preparation and teaching tools to uh, really demonstrate you know, how our technologies can be used in a, you know, a, a meeting room or a locker room um, to, make, to make your meetings and how you prepare with your staff and players more interactive and more collaborative. What's, what's really good about, about our software is that you know, if you're not using the player app as a presentation tool, um, it, it, it does really display really well um, for your players and it helps you kind of streamline exactly how you're going to pre prepare in, in meetings, um, you, know, for, you know, before practice or before games. So I'll go full screen here. Um, so on the dashboard, this is content that has just been assigned to, you know, to a specific player or, or to me in, in this case. And this, this allows coaches to control exactly what players see so you're not overwhelming them with too much content uh, and you can really focus them on, on just the content that they need to know for a pr particular practice or game. Um, I'll start by showing you know, uh, scouting reports. Now a lot of, a lot of this information you know, we automate um, you know, for teams. Uh, but this, you know, you kind of see just the, this, the standard components of a typical scouting report. I've got keys, I can jump right into personnel, um, you can add plays to this. Uh, but, but what I really wanted to draw attention to is how you can assign matchups. Uh, so this is, you know, maybe I want to assign the two or three guys that, that, a, that a particular player may be responsible for guarding in a game. I want to put those guys front and center to focus that athlete's attention. Um, and then these player profiles are, are dynamic. So. Uh, you know, I open this up. I've got all the information that it, that that we need to know about uh, number fourteen bales. I've got stats that we pulled in um, automatically when we automated this scouting report. I can type in notes for player tendencies. How are we going to guard them, um, et cetera? And then I can pull video, you know, from Synergy or Sports Code or or whatever video platform you're using to show that kind of side by side. The other good thing about this is within the scouting report, this just becomes a presentation that you can kind of loop through. So. Using this up here, I can just move on to the next player and I can just proceed through you know, the scouting report, whether you're going through keys, personnel, plays that you want to show. All of that is just kind of streamlined in one location and it serves as not only a good um, study tool that players can um, use on their phones or their tablets, but this, this is really useful in a locker room or a meeting room um, for, for players and coaches to, to, to meet. So the next thing I want to show within the Just Play app is uh, how you can use it to for presentations. Now this can be used as a year-round tool um, for your players. You can you know you could build like off-season workout programs into here. Uh, maybe it's preseason installs. But essentially, this is just a playlist of content. Um, you're pulling content from your system, uh, and we're going to guide players uh, you know through this um, in order here. So I'll jump into the first play in this presentation. Um, this is how you know scout plays or, or the playbook uh, displays. If you're not familiar with, with, with this view, you've got a side-by-side -side look of the diagram, uh, the video, which can be pulled in from your video platform, Synergy Sports Code, whatever you use. Um, and then we also have our diagrams you know, animate with timing. So if I move to animation mode, I just swipe, I'm going to see uh, everything on the canvas uh, move with timing, and then I can compare that here side with the video of this play. The other thing that's great about this is if I go um, full screen here, and I'll pause, uh, built into the ThinkHub software is uh, Telestration tools. So I can right here show exactly what's gonna happen on this play. Um, I can then, if I get out of full screen mode, I can take a little screenshot of this, just move this down, move it to the side. Maybe I'm gonna come back to this later on in my meeting. I can you know, move this off the canvas. This is, and then come over to it later. This is just, you know, you've got as much real estate as you need for whatever content you're gonna display in your, in your meeting. Okay, so moving through this presentation, I'll go back to full screen um, and I'll get out of full screen video. So I can guide players you know, through this presentation and, and really give them any type of content in, in the order that I want. So I'll just click next to the next item here. I've got another play that I want to walk through, kind of the same layout, but, but it doesn't just have to be plays. Any content from, from, from our system, whether it's video, quizzes, uh, all of that can be laid into a presentation uh, and presented to players. So I'll navigate here. The next item in the presentation is a quiz. I'll click start. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to stop this video at a certain point where we want to stress a teaching point. You know, maybe maybe we're quizzing players. Maybe this is just guided film study. Um, but they cannot move on uh, until they get the question right. 
when they do, they'll get a teaching point. They can either rewatch that video or move on to the next question. And at the end of this quiz, they'll get immediate feedback on those results. The other thing that's, that's really cool about uh, the T T1V app um, is that players um, can wirelessly connect from anywhere. Uh, it creates a hybrid learning experience for them. So if they're not in the meeting room, if they're at home, um, they can still uh, log in and, and view this presentation, take the quiz with the team or on their own. Um, it, it's, it's really flexible in, in how this content is dispersed out to players and, and, and how they consume it and, and prepare for games. So we're really just scratching the surface on how these two technologies can be used to improve you know, your workflow and your preparation process. But what this is going to do is it's going to make you know, your staff meetings and your team meetings uh, you know, more interactive, more collaborative, uh, and hopefully you know, improve your overall preparation. Mm -hmm.